I want to talk about the fact that there is a myth out there which states that nice guys finish last. <clears throat> I would like to say for the record that this is complete and total bullshit. Uh, nice, the fact is that nice guys don't finish last because they rarely finish at all. <laughs> You can't get finished if you don't get started. And people say that looks don't matter and personality get you the girl, but you're only half right. Um, you get a wife by having a great personality, but to get a wife, you first have to have a girlfriend. To get a girlfriend, you have to go on dates. And to get dates, you have to be hot. I mean, let's be honest here. In this world, looks do matter. And if you say you don't, then you're lying. Either you're lying to me, or you're lying to yourself. Because I have never in my entire life met a girl who actually went on a date with a guy that she did not find physically attractive. Now, there may be other reasons that she likes him too. I mean, it might, she might have thought he had a great personality, that he was really funny, really smart, etc. But at the same time, she, you know, those might have, you know, while those might have convinced her to go on a date with him, she, you, she still did not think he was ugly. No, she thought he was cute enough, and she made the decision to go out with him because not only was he cute, but he was also smart, cute, funny, and other stuff. But he was still cute. So you can't say that looks don't matter. I mean, seriously, ask any girl you know, at, at, and... Ask them, have you ever gone on a date who you thought was just ugly as hell? And I mean, like an actual, you choose to go out with them, not your friend set you up on a blind date. I mean, how many times have you met a guy who you thought was just ugly as hell and decided, hey, I want to go out with you because you've got such a fantastic personality? That does not happen. And, I mean, you ha in order to go on a date with a girl, you have to be physically attractive. I mean, she has to be physically attracted to you. And there actually, there are different levels of attraction. There is physical attraction, which basically means you just like looking at them. Now, I mean, I'm physically attracted to most supermodels. Most. That's about it, though. I've never met them. I can't have anything other than physical attraction. Oh, actually, no. There's a, I can have sexual attraction, which I do. Which basically, sexual attraction just means you want the dick. That's it. You know, sexual attraction just means you want to be all touching and stuff. And there's also intellectual attraction, though. Which means, you know, this is somebody that you enjoy having actual conversations with. Somebody that you look forward to talking to and sharing your ideas with. And there's also an emotional attraction, which means there's a great connection. You feel very comfortable with this person. You know, you, you feel like you can talk to them about anything. You know, it's just you feel you can be yourself with them. And most relationships begin with either physical or sexual attraction. And mental and emotional attraction... While they are necessary in love, they generally come at a later point in time. Um, being hot gets you a girl, but being a great guy makes her stay. After you've already got her. So, in other words, a lot of people who qualify as a nice guy are ugly as fuck.